Welcome to Sodo Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. Thank you so much for tuning in once more for another video tutorial. Today I am working on a backdrop for a Barbie theme decor. I'm just setting up at home just so I can give you guys an idea of how to set up for a Barbie theme. This time we're going with the Barbie disco party theme. So I'm starting out with my box. If you missed the video on how I made this box, I have a detailed tutorial that I'll link below. I just posted it before this video. You can check that out so you can make it yourself. It's made from foam boards, so it was a fun project to make. So I'm starting also by prepping all the shimmer walls. I figured what other idea to use than a shimmer wall for a Barbie disco theme. So I figured this silver shimmer wall would work great. I also have tutorials on my review of this shimmer wall. It's an easy assembly. It has two connecting points on each side of the wall. The wall, the panels are 12 by 12 each and they just connect at two points on each side. And the assembly is pretty easy. So my plan here is just to see if I can get some of that shimmer on one side of course i'm thinking this would be a birthday theme i use these longer zip ties the shimmer wall comes with zip ties but they're a bit shorter so i use the longer ones because my pipe and pipe kit the metal kit you see in the back is a thicker pole so the shorter zip ties don't wrap around well enough for me to secure the shimmer wall so I'm using those longer zip ties to just connect that to the side and I'm also hoping that I can create a design more for birthday parties. So once that is all straightened out, an easier way would have been for me to keep it on the floor and just use that crossbar to attach it onto the floor and then connect it, pick it up and put it up there. But I'm here doing this because I did not have a design per se in mind I just know I wanted to do something disco like so I'm just connecting the pieces as I go with this I also wanted to make sure I have enough where the box is close enough to the shimmer wall and I have room on the right side to connect all my balloons to that so I go ahead and just attach the final pieces of that shit of the shimmer panels I love the glitter and the shimmer you just see through this. It just looks like it's some kind of graphic rather than actual pieces that you're holding. So I think that's pretty cool. As you can see, there's a small gap on the bottom part that's not touching the box. But I adjusted that piece because the my, my um, zip tie, sorry, my zip tie was loose on that right side where I connected the shimmer wall. Now I decided because it's birthday theme, I'll add the happy birthday neon sign. If you want a better tutorial, I guess a close up idea on how to attach these neon signs, you can leave a comment below so I can do that. But I figured it's not as complicated. Some of these neon signs come with a band. Now these are the balloons I'm using, Tuftex Baby Pink and I'm using the Wild Berry in Qualitex. So I love these colors together. It took me a couple of trials to be able to decide what shade of pink to use. I ended up with five separate shades of pink that I inflated and these were the two that I thought would work the best and they did. So back to the neon sign, some come with a rope that you can tie it with a lot of times or a chain i don't like when the chains or the rope show against the backdrop because it just makes it look weird i like when it just looks as though the neon sign is coming out of the decor so i use fishing line to attach my neon sign i just double it up i actually triple the the fishing line and thread that through the hole that has that has the neon sign to hang and I attach it with the fishing line that works better again if you want me to explain more on that just let me know and I'll have a video on that so 
with these balloons I want big clusters so because of the way my backdrop looks I just want wide chunky clusters so I'm using two of the 17 inch balloons and four of the 18 uh, four of the 11 inch to form these clusters of six I don't like clusters of eight because I find that the balloons just press on each other and they don't look as round I find that the six is a happy spot where they're not pressing on each other and you're losing that shape of the balloon because they're so tight together so I'm doing this with each because my plan is to alternate the colors to create this design so again if this is your first time the way I inflate the balloons is I want to inflate to where it's that oval shape and I compress while releasing some of the air so that it forms a rounded shape the reason you're compressing is to reshape the balloon because you don't want those egg shapes to look for this organic look for your balloon so that's the mini tutorial there for the balloons don't don't forget to check out more videos on how I decorate we decorate for several events of course I do a lot of stuff at home as well just to have tutorials that are ready for you but I take you along with me uh, for my decorating for different events that I'm, I'm hired for just so you can see a bit of what I do all the clusters so far have been about the same except the two on the left side because I want my design to taper down a little bit so I don't want that chunkiness at the very tip of my garland so those two are smaller I use all 11 inch balloons for those and you'll see how it looks once I attach everything now my method here for attaching is making sure the wider part of my balloon is on the outside and it's not facing upward so it's making it a wider garland I don't know if that makes sense so I look at the way the cluster looks find my neck in the middle of the widest part and then attach it that way so I'm going to use 260 cues on my pole to attach these garlands so I'm putting it on several spots on the pole and adjusting the camera of course so you guys can see sometimes I forget to do that so we're just looking at how it's gonna be and pulling on to that 260Q stretching it out and wrapping it around a couple of balloons until it's nice and secure of course with balloon balloons you make adjustments constantly till you get the final look of how it you want it to be so I'm securing it first no big deal here and we'll adjust as we go so because that top part is upright I don't want that to look that way so you can always adjust move it around your clusters and get it exactly where you want it to be so that is that now I have these two smaller balloons we're attaching them together and you can see I want it to go all the way to where the shimmer wall is so it's not long enough I'm creating another quad or I think I did a cluster on this one with one of the 17 inches instead of two and that will just taper down from there so I'm attaching that one to that piece and then I'll be able to attach again I'm alternating the colors if you haven't noticed um, it's the light pink and then the uh, darker pink shade so that's that so we are gonna connect that piece I'll have to use a 260 Q at this point to connect that to that pipe and drape kit but what I also want to do is to make sure that the balloon garland doesn't pull out so I still want it nice and snug towards the box on that right side I don't want that big of a gap so I'm attaching the 260 Q in such a way that it's gonna pull the whole garland to the left side so you see me continuing to make adjustments as I go and I'm moving that I don't know why I always forget zip ties when I'm talking or doing the voiceover but the zip tie was sticking up and I don't want that so I moved that out of the way 
So now it's time for some disco balls and just embellishing the garland. We have our base completed and I'm just going to use some of these disco balls. These last quite a while. I've had this for some time and I just reuse them for my videos that I do not for my setups at clients houses but I'm attaching this to my backdrop by using 260 cues again to attach so that is that and with this last 260 cue I'm just tugging on and wrapping around until it's nice and secure as well and I figured at first that I could use um, one of the disco balls on this end but it ends up not holding with the smaller disco balls there wasn't enough of a neck to tie anything to so it was harder to attach it to the backdrop so keep that in mind you have to really tie it secure now I'm creating my filler balloons the filler balloons usually are with the five inch balloons and these five inches you can make them small about a three inch size depending on what your garland looks but when i have a garland that is this wide and has a lot of the 17 and 18 inch balloons i like creating bigger size so this is close to like four and a half or four inches and i just eyeball make sure they all look the same once i create my quads and then i'll use some rubber bands and some 260 cues to attach them onto the backdrop but I don't need a lot because the clusters are pretty tight together and they don't need they don't have a lot of gaps to fill so these are just filler so I think I did three in each color or four and that worked pretty well so we're continuing to inflate and then we're gonna attach it Thank you so much for watching to this point don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any further videos if you like this backdrop click that like button and don't forget to share thank you all so much and have a blessed week and i'm gonna reveal the complete and final look here with you shortly thank you